We have some really cold air upcoming, right? And, and many of you may have heard this term thrown about uh, a polar vortex. It sounds really intimidating, right? A vortex. Well, by definition, a vortex is just a whirlwind or, or, or air or fluid moving about. And that's exactly what we have at the poles constantly. So this is looking at the North Pole, the Northern Hemisphere. There's always an area of pressure here that exists at the North and at the South Poles. It's a low pressure. Now, during the summertime, obviously, the polar air here, it, it hardly exists at all. Same thing on the flip side with the southern hemisphere. But in the winter, it's a very strong, very influential air mass. So it exists here, several miles above the surface, and you have this boundary of Arctic air. In between there, this is our barrier. We talk about the jet stream a lot. This is what separates our air masses. Relatively warmer continental air to the south, and very cold either polar or arctic air to the north. Now when there's a disturbance in this flow about the poles, sometimes you get a secondary low. Sometimes you get a ridge of high pressure that displaces this air. Now you have a setup where cold air comes in. So that vortex, that spinning of really cold air that's at the poles is no longer kept at just the poles. It spills down into the eastern, the southeastern part of the United States. This is our setup th next week, and this is why it is going to be so cold. This happens a lot in January, sometimes in February. Next week, expect those lows in the 20s. Highs, in some cases, don't get out of the 30s.